What's going on everybody, Future Out Productions here, we're back with another review, and this time we're going to be reviewing a very, very special Transformer. It is the Transformers Collaborative Crossover Ectotron, aka the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. And here we have Ectotron in his packaging. Now I have to say, this is quite brilliant packaging design. We got Ectotron just ready with his proton pack. He's dripping slime from Slimer, I would assume, because he can. Uh, he's in the packaging, so he comes with it. Um, we have the nice Ectotron logo right here. Transformers Collaborative Crossover sticker. Uh, we can see the Ecto-1 inside. And spinning the packaging around, we got the classic 1980s Transformers More Than Meets the Eye styling with the Transformers 35th Anniversary logo. We have his name... Uh, and his little graphics board, his strength, his eyesight, firepower, speed, and his paranormal capabilities with the uh, Ghostbusters logo right here. And it says, Function, Paranormal Investigator. And he says, When life splatters you with marshmallow goo, you just go with it. All right. That works for me. Uh, then some more details over there. Ghostbusters logo, 35 and Slimer Green. Uh, some transform stuff up there, and that's it for the packaging. Let's open him up and see what he looks like. So here we have Ectotron open up and out of his packaging. You have to admit, it is a slick, slick alt mode for Ectotron. Ectotron is obviously based off of the Ghostbusters Ecto-1, which is a 1959 millimeter Cadillac combination hearse ambulance. Um, these were the classic space age style car and they were only made with this body style for one year the 1959 and i have to admit it's a slick style and i'm actually thinking about maybe making my own ecto-1 but that's a whole nother story uh let's go ahead and look over the alt mode so we have the classic white wall tires we have the ghostbusters logo right there um we got the light bars with the light uh the lights themselves um on the other side we got the ghostbusters logo Again, um, and there's not one on the back, unfortunately. Um, I believe the Afterlife one actually it has it. Um, but I'm probably not going to get the Afterlife one. But uh, if you guys want me to, I guess we could uh, talk about it or something. I don't know. On the front, we have the Ecto-1 license plate, which is really cool. And then on top, we got all this gizmo stuff. I don't even know what it does. <laughs> um, but... I guess that's it for the vehicle mode. Let's get started on the transformation. For the transformation, we want to start taking off this roof section here. So we want to unplug this blue hose here. So just wiggle that out and then do that. Then we want to turn Ectotron. We want to unbuckle the ladder here from the roof and we fold this down and out of the way. We take this golden cord here and pull it out and we just let it dangle there. And then we got to take this and just start wiggling it out. And there we go. We're going to set that off to the side. Next part is we got to take the door panels here and we got to work them up. We got to loosen them up. So we're going to pop the tab there, pop it here, and then we're going to, there we go. And we want to work it up. So there we go. And then just pull it up so it comes up like that. And it's tucked up like this, and then do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And tuck it up, and pin it in there. Do the same thing for this side to get it all nice and straightened up. There we go. Alright, flipping him over, we want to pull these out. These are going to allow us to take his rear section here, and just pull, essentially. There we go. Straight out. And then we want to make sure everything's straightened out. And then we fold these leg panels down. We take his feet here. Well, they came, they're, they're supposed to be tucked in uh, like this. And then you just flip them out like this. And then his heels actually come out. Let me, if we split his legs here, his heels come from the back of the car. So we just take this little panel and fold this up like that. Do the same thing on the other side. There's his heels, so now we can stand him up. Okay, so now that he's standing up, we want to take the forward panels here of his car mode and just split them apart and bring his arms down. We want to take the arms, rotate them down 
So like there's this, do the same thing on the other side. Once we get this panel up and out of the way some more, there we go. Readjusting him. He's a little looser in the hips, so he's hard to position. Let's see, there, that ought to do it, I think. Maybe, hold on. There, fixed his heel. There, let's try that. There we go. Now, his door, well, this one already came undone, but you got to push these. So, these panels right here can come down. So, you just want to push them down into place, like so. And then we want to take his arms and move them out. You want to do that on the other side, too. Make sure to do that first. You want to move his arms out first and then push these panels down. So, come on. All right, so now we can take these panels here and rotate them in so they're folded in like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Take his hands here, flip them out. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. All right. Then we take his chest plate, pull it down, and fold his head out, close the chest plate, and there you have Ectotron in his robot mode. All right, so you have to admit, the paint job on Ectotron is so cool. Now, you can see here he actually has the Ecto goggles to see, you know, phantasmic um, trails of goo and stuff like that. I don't know the specific terms, but if you look closely at his paint job, it's very reminiscent of the Ghostbusters jumpsuit. And if you look on his uh, chest plate, it actually says Ectotron, which is um, in the same exact position that every other Ghostbuster has their names. You know, you got Venkman, Stans, Spangler and uh, Zedmore, there we go, yeah, I always forget the fourth member, Zedmore, and um, yeah, and so you, you have that entire paint scheme going all the way through the entire model, and I have to admit, it's so, so cool. Okay, so for posability, we have his uh, arms up 90 degrees at the shoulder, okay, um, in kind of in and out for the arms, uh, 90 degrees at the elbow for the hands, uh, no wrist rotation, but his hands can come in and out, I guess, um, his, uh, shoulder can do that, um, so, I mean, if you want to get a 45 degree angle out of this, and then a 90 degree like that at this joint here, um, I guess you could, uh, other than that, that's not much, um, Waist rotation, no, there's no waist rotation. Um, we got some leg rotation here, but uh, his, uh, let's see here. Uh, we got, okay, we got almost full 90 degree out. Um, 90 degree forward, and about 25 degrees maybe uh, back. Um, for knees, um, we got um, full 90 uh, back and a little bit forward, not much. Um, for feet articulation, uh, it's just part of the transformation. But got up and down like that. Uh, you, you could you could have him have him be in some cool poses if you wanted to. But uh, the foot articulation part of the transformation, so not much uh, in terms of that. Um. Let's see, do we have a... Okay, yeah, we got some thigh rotation. Uh, looks like 180 degrees. Yeah, that's full 360 degrees. That's that's that. Uh, what about at the arms? Do we have full 360? E... Oh, yes, full 360 arms. Okay. At the elbow. Um, and I think that's it for the articulation. Yeah, I think that's it for the articulation. Okay, so for accessories, we got Slimer here. Uh, this is cute. Um, it's not very well detailed. I think the Afterlife uh, model of him details him a little more. Uh, but you, you can clearly see his mouth and his eyes. Um, I probably will actually paint this at some point to make him look a little more uh, accurate, I guess you could say. Uh, so you could bring out the details of his face a little more. Um, but then we got the roof pack. Now, the roof pack, the roof thing is really cool. This is probably my favorite part of the entire Ectotron figure. Now, I didn't show you guys this while he was in vehicle mode, but this attaches to the side. 
Now, if you're a Ghostbusters fan or any, you know, 1980s fan, or hell, if you haven't even seen Ghostbusters, you'll know what this is. This is the Neutrono wand from Ghostbusters. This is what the proton beams actually come out of. Um, now, you're probably wondering, where is the proton pack? The proton pack is this. It actually transforms into a proton pack. So, we want to fold this little red thing down, okay? Then, we want to fold this back panel up. Okay, so as this comes up, we want to take this golden cord here and plug it in right up here at this little tiny hole here. Okay, then once that is plugged in, it's a bit of a, it's kind of hard to squeeze in there. Let me just try that again. There we go. There, now that's plugged in, you want to fold this all the way down so it's like that. Okay, then this cord right here has a uh, plug on this end and you take the back of the neutrono wand and you plug it in like that now you have a proton pack and if you turn ectotron around there's a little slit here on his light bar where it normally attaches so if we're going to do this we basically take the pack here and we attach it to the light bar then you can feed this around and actually put it in his hand with some difficulty. Then you can take his left hand and boom! Now he has a proton pack. And when you're not using the proton pack uh, in his robot mode, there's actually a little plug right here. And you can actually plug this into the side of the pack. Uh, let's see, where's the hole at? Uh, no, it's around here. Oh, yeah, you plug it in up here. At the very top. It's a bit of a tight fit. There we go. And you could just fold this down. I, I put, do it down, and then you can just tuck his little thing up. And there. And then you can actually do the Ghostbusters move where they reach back. Oh, the pack fell off. Put that back on here. And you can do the classic Ghostbusters move where he reaches back and tries to grab it, but he doesn't, he's actually not able to get it uh, because it's so far on his back. But it's still a nice touch that they were able to put a proton pack as an accessory in here. Okay, to transform Ectotron back in his vehicle mode, we got to remove the proton pack here. Ooh. We're going to set this aside. All right, so now we want to take his arms and we want to fold his hands in. We're going to keep them at his sides for now. We want to take his head, open up the chest plate, fold his head in, close the chest plate. Then we want to take his front fenders here and then move them over. Do the same thing on the other side. All right. And then we want to push this tab back up so it's in position. If we can, there we go. Then do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Alright, so when you get that done, you want to take his arms and fold them up like this. Do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so once you get uh, his uh, arms tucked away, you want to take his shoulders and rotate them up. Do the same on the other side. And you want to fold them up and connect them up like that. Alright, moving down to the legs, we want to take his feet. Um, and we want to take his ankle feet, actually, fold them in like that. Then we want to connect them together, like so. All right, so once they're connected, you want to take these panels here on the bottom, open them up, and then we want to push his legs forward and then connect the back section of his legs into these two tabs here, like so. There we go. And then we want to take his panels here for his legs and close them. Make sure the ladder is out of the way. There we go. And fold his feet in. Then we want to take the roof section, fold it, I mean the door section here, fold it down, and then connect it in, make sure it's all aligned, do the same thing on the other side, there we go, so now we need to get the proton pack installed back on his roof, so we want to move, remove the neutrino wand, set that off to the side, we want to take this panel here and lift it up, we want to disconnect this golden cable here and let that dangle off to the side. We're going to fold this back over, which is going to pull this piece up. 
you fold this down and tuck it in and then that's all the way up and then we take this uh, I think this is like the proton cannon I think that's what they call it I might be wrong um, and then they fold we fold that up and get it out of the way now you may not be able to see this on camera let me zoom in here nope. so this little plastic hole right here molded into the plastic is where the blue tab here this one right here plugs in and it's hard hard to get in and it's hard to stay in but we're going to try to put it in here uh, so we're going to basically line the two up and you want to use your fingernail to really get it pushed in once you get it like over the hole and lined up it takes a good couple tries to get it there we go now that's tucked in now holding that in place we want to take this section here and now this section is a bit loose so we just basically gotta force it in like this tucking in like that and then we just slide everything in and should go in there we go there now that's tucked in we want to take the golden cable here and we want to pull this push this into its hole that goes there just flip it around and fold the ladder up and then tuck it into uh, there's a little peg right here that we tuck into the receiving socket here on top of the car and you just put that in there we go all right now this part right here for the blue hose is very difficult to put in because of the tight tolerances um you gotta basically uh put these two pegs in and then you gotta like it's kind of out of order so you put the first one in here and then you put the second one, the third, I mean the third one in, and then you put this one in here. But I found it's actually easier to do it in numerical order. You do this one, and then you do this one. And then you try to get it all nice and lined up. There we go. And then you take this one and then you just basically tuck it in, plug it in. And there you have Ectotron back in his vehicle mode. That's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Ectotron is an amazing figure with so much playability possibilities. It's uh, absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, this year is going to be a huge Ghostbusters year for the entire channel. I got the Spangler wand uh, from Hasbro pre-ordered. Um, I backed the Proton Pack from HasLab. That's coming, you know, spring of next year. I'm gonna get the the wand sometime in April, hopefully. And this whole year is gonna be probably non-stop Ghostbusters. I'm gonna have the jumpsuit, hopefully for Halloween. I'm gonna have the PK PK PKE meter. It's gonna be. A wonderful ride and I hope you guys still stick around for it if you're interested in picking Ectotron up uh, the retail price where I bought him which was on Amazon um, it's a little ridiculous now but if I recall correctly his retail price was about $40 now it's $85 and 49 cents according to this link on Amazon um, you could probably find him somewhere cheaper but best of luck to you it was a pain in the butt to get this guy e even if it was a week late for Christmas but you know things happen money comes prob money problems happen all that lovely stuff anyways that's it for now i'm future Oil productions and remember who are you gonna call something strange